Alrighty, so uh, let's move all the rest of these other detectors out of the way. Let's see here, Ludlums and stuff, and get out of the way here. Because today, we're going to be taking this little guy, the Inspector USB, and I'm going to be uh, seeing what my 24-hour dose is using this thing like a dosimeter. It has the ability, let's cut it on, it has the ability to do this, let's kind of focus on here. As the audio is off, on an audio, and then we can do energy units, which are of course dumb and terrible and horrible, and you shouldn't be using those unless you're calibrated for them. Uh, counts per minute, counts per second, which is what we should be using, which we are using. And a timed count. We're going to go to sound so we can hear stuff. And Ah, oh, crap. Look at that. We're out of battery power. But we have this. The only complaint that I have so far about the Inspector USB and my camera's inability to focus is that this thing eats batteries like they're going out of style. Oh, my God. It's so badly that I sent it back to the manufacturer. And I was like, what the hell? Because this little guy right here can run for like, my God, this thing runs for like, I, I, I don't want to say a year because I don't really time it, but maybe like eight months or something, the CRM100. It's like this ridiculously long period of time. I never worry about this thing running out of like battery power. The Inspector, U, uh, the Inspector EXP Plus, this thing has got like six months or something of power. I mean, it's got a ridiculous amount of power. It has the same uh, LND 7370, 7317 tube that this thing has, the same Geiger tube. And the Ludlum here, oh my God, the Ludlum. I mean, I think I'll probably, like, die and pass this on to my kids before this thing, like, runs out of battery power. Holy crap. And even the, the, this, this, this old, um, CDV 700's got months and months and months and months and months. I've only changed the battery in this, uh, twice, once, like, maybe four times, because I've had it for, like, five or six years. Like, seven or eight times over the course of, like, three or four years, like... 12 times, maybe 15 times, like a whole bunch of times. Now, sometimes that's because I'm like, you know, taking something like CZ-137 and tossing it on it, you know, because obviously that eats the battery power up. But just regular background usage, it goes crazy. Now, when it's in the data logging mode, which I put it in sometimes, that eats power like crazy. And that's because it's doing something. It's like constantly data logging. So that I understand. But when it's not in the data logging mode, it's still eating power left and right. And I don't like leave the light on or anything like that. So, like, you got me. I would say it's probably good for about a month at best, and then it needs a new battery. So it's not the end of the world. It's totally acceptable. I'm totally fine with it. It was just so much faster than I, I thought there was something wrong with it because of this. So let me change the battery, and then we're going to get back to using this thing. Okay, so I've changed the battery. Here's the old battery. It's like not even a month old. So let's cut this sucker on. Now I'm going to cut this thing on and go into the menu because I want to set this thing up so that it can do like uh, data logging because it can do data logging. So let me set this up to go. So what I'm going to do is hold the positive, the negative, and the set button, which are normally used when the unit is doing like a timed count. So you like hit the set button to like set the time up, and then you plus or minus the amount of time you want this thing to do a time count, and then hit the set button to go. But instead, if you hold the plus button down, and then you like cut it on at the same time, like, it'll go into a menu. SC International, Inspector, Done. Okay, so you have, let's go back to Done again. Okay, when you click Done, go back. When you cl click Done, it, like, just starts the Geiger counter up. Uh, data Logging cuts that on and off, sets the stuff for that, which we're going to do in a minute. Units lets you switch between counts per minute, uh, uh, millirankins per hour, or, of course, microsieverts per hour and counts per second. Use counts per second and microsieverts per hour if you can. That's nice. Whatever you do, don't use actual energy units like microsieverts or middle and rankings. Use counts per second or, US, or, or uh, counts per minute. Uh, efficiencies. You can actually set this thing up for various efficiencies. Like, you can... I think that's the actual efficiency... Yeah, yeah. Is that the official thing? Okay. Yeah, that lets you set it for, like, Cesium-137 or Cobalt-60. You can actually set this thing to various pre-programmed efficiencies for various pre-programmed radionuclides, which is really freaking awesome, because then this thing can actually do correct dose readings, like counts, I mean, like on microsieverts per hour and stuff like that. It can actually do that for various types of samples. But we're not going to mess with that today. You know, the averaging period, the clock, and all this sort of stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to set data logging. Data logging is now set. All right. To on. And then we click done and it starts up. And I took the little housing off. This is the rubber housing. If you buy one of these, buy the rubber housing. It's like a freaking lifesaver. Here's the beautiful little Geiger tube in the back. Show up. Show up, Geiger tube. 
This is like a really informal video, by the way, too. So, yay, I got your tube. And it works pretty great. I'm going to probably connect this to my computer, which I can do. And when I connect it to my computer, I'm going to set it so it's logging in 10-minute increments. Because that will be the best. And we will see what my dose reading is for an entire 24-hour period using this device. And then I can even graph it out, as opposed to using my dosimeter, which I used a few, uh, for, for uh, today's video which will be showing how much uh, reduce I get in a 24-hour period. So that's what kind of like both of these are doing. So this is just a short little uh, uh, video. I'm going to be doing some longer ones later this week. I already told you guys I'm like getting worked to death. They're trying to kill me. So um, as soon as I get done with all this tech, uh, crazy work I'm doing, I'm going to put out some like nice good videos and everything's going to be great because right now I'm just like, oh my God, I'm like so tired. But I wanted to put something out for you guys because you're all like, oh, when's Tom going to put a new video? And I'm like, dying from sleep deprivation, but I figured I would put something out for you just the same, okay? So let me get back to all the other crazy stuff I'm doing, like, for example, reading my uh, uh, manga. I know it's manga. Don't don't yell at me. Uh, uh, Red River, which is, by the way, still freaking awesome. All right, this has been Tom from anti-proton.com. Follow me on Twitter, where I will be posting the results as this thing goes along throughout the course of the day, uh, calculating my dose rate. But anyhow, all right, bye-bye.